just a dream. Hmm? Alright, what do you see here? This is an image of a black high top sneaker placed on top of a small brown cardboard box. The box and sneaker are on a wood floor against a wall with textured paint. Very good. Stand by. Okay, what do you see now? I see a mug with designs on it placed on top of a closed brown cardboard box, which is situated on a wooden floor against a wall with a textured finish and baseboard. Can you tell what kind of design is on the cup? The cup has a red handle and features a design that includes a snowy scene with a cabin, trees, and the word joy printed on it. Very good. Um, let's go to the next thing. Now it's going to yell at me because it's dark again. Alright, oh, let's get rid of this. What do you see now? This is an image showing a knit hat with a pom-pom on top placed on a cardboard box. The wall behind is textured and the floor appears to be wooden. The hat features an embroidered design that includes a city skyline and a letter C with a circular border. What baseball team is that the logo for? The logo on the hat is for the Chicago Cup. Yes! Excellent. Um, Ethan, you want to do a picture? Mm -hmm. All this. What do you think this is going to be? What, what kind of drawing? It appears to be a simple, abstract drawing with geometric shapes that could be the beginning stages of a floor plan or a basic sketch of objects. It's not clear what the final drawing is intended to represent. Tell me what you see here, the picture. The picture shows a simple drawing of a house with a triangular roof and a single window alongside a stick figure that appears to be standing next to the house. This is on a piece of lined notebook paper, which is lined... Okay. What do you see here? You put it on me, Ethan. This is an image of a young person sitting on the floor, holding and looking at a smartphone. There is a bed with cheveled bedding to the left, a nightstand with various items on it, and a desk with a computer monitor further to the right. The floor appears to be wooden, and there are heart-shaped decorations on the wall. Right. Thank you very much. We're done. Yo, what up? Tell me the dirtiest joke you know. Hey, Jake. Ready for something that would make a sailor blush? Okay, buckle up for this one. Why doesn't Santa Claus have any kids? Because he only comes once a year. And when he does, it's down the chimney. Hope that gives you a <laughs> chuckle, man. Keep your spirits high. That's Chris all. Christmas now joke. what? Tell me... Give me another joke. All right, Jake, since you're asking for another one, here goes. What does a perverted frog say? Rabbit? Classic switcheroo with a pinch of naughty. Keep smirking, dude. That's all. Now what? I don't get it. All right, you won't get that. Um, how about... Tell me something about Jacksonville, Florida. Well, man, Jacksonville, bless their hearts. They're like the kid who always brings a tuna sandwich to a pizza party. Where do I start? The city is so sprawled out. It's like someone took a city, hit it with a sledgehammer, and said, Yeah, that looks about right. You've got more bridges than a game of contract whist. And still, everyone's surprised there's traffic. You'd think with all that water around, folks would chill. But no, the humidity just makes everyone walk around with a permanent scowl, like they're auditioning for a role as a disgruntled postal worker. And the mascot for unfun has to be the NFL team, the Jaguars. <laughs> They've got a winning spirit that's, well... They've got spirit. Let's just leave it at that. Every season is like waiting for a blind date that you know is going to stand you up. Again. Last but not least, they named an NFL game after the city, the Jacksonville Effect, the phenomenon where highly anticipated games become total snooze fests. But hey, they do have nice beaches. 
if you don't mind the occasional alligator looking to sunbathe next to you. Don't worry, Jacksonville, we know you have your charms. Somewhere. Deep down. Really deep? Give me a, do you have any jokes about Jacksonville? I think you just said them all. Well, absolutely. <laughs> Jacksonville is like the too eager stand-up comic who tries too hard. It's almost too easy to roast. How do you know the toothbrush was invented in Jacksonville? Because if it was invented anywhere else, it would be called a teeth brush. And here's another one for good measure. Why don't folks from Jacksonville play hide and seek? Because no one would bother looking for them. Just a little jab at good old Jacks. No harm, no foul. Keep laughing, manage. Jake. That was funny. Uh, how about, tell me a joke about John Cena. Why did John Cena never get promoted at the bakery? Because no matter how many times he tried, those damn rolls could always see him. Plus, every time he tried to knead the dough, he ended up giving it an attitude adjustment. And let's just say, bread doesn't sell well when it's been pinned down for a three count. Um, let's try another John Cena joke. That one didn't hit the mark. All right, let's give this another shot. Off the top rope this time, why can't John Cena send emails? Because every time he tries to CC someone, they can't ever see him. I mean, you'd think with all the visibility issues he'd at least excel at stealth missions or playing Invisible Man in the remake. But no, even the Wi-Fi signal gets confused and goes looking for someone else to connect with. Ah, uh, that was better. How about... What? New Year's time. Oh yeah, it is one minute till New Year's. <laughs> hey, it's New Year's Eve. Yo, Jake, what's cracking? Just flip the calendar over, huh? Welcome to another round of What Fresh Hell Will This Year Bring Us? Interactive modular ring 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 banana phone.